Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can share a survey form with your customers on their WhatsApp automatically. So guys the idea here is that you are selling any product and you have the data of your customers inside a Google Sheet or a spreadsheet. And guys you have created a follow up survey form for your customers using Google Forms application and you want that as and when you add the data here of your customer in the spreadsheet a WhatsApp message along with your survey forms link will be delivered to these customers that you have here automatically on their WhatsApp. So guys for this to happen we are going to connect Google Sheets in our automation workflow in the triggers tab and we are going to connect WhatsApp as our action application such that whenever you are going to add the data of your customer here the survey forms link along with a message will be delivered on WhatsApp automatically. So guys you can also set up this whole automation very easily without any coding skills. Let me show you how. So guys we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool to set up this automation. So first of all you need to reach here on this link pabli.com slash connect. We have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get free automation tasks to set up your automation. Okay. So you can sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Guys here you have to create a workflow of automation for that just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow so I am giving the name here as send <coughs> survey forms on WhatsApp. So after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page guys you will see the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things we are going to set up this automation. So guys trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So here guys I am going to select that application in which I am entering the details of my customer. And as I'm going to enter the details that is going to trigger the workflow and the workflow will start running and send the survey form to the customer on WhatsApp. So guys I have created a spreadsheet here in Google Sheets application which is here and here I am adding my customers details. Okay. So as I'm going to add the detail of any new customer here that should trigger this workflow and the WhatsApp message will be sent. So here my trigger application is Google Sheets. So search for Google Sheets here and you will find it like this, select it. Okay. And the trigger event would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. So whenever a new row is added, that is going to trigger this workflow. So when you select this option, it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys and it is used to fetch the details of any external application to here in Pabli Connect. So with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with our trigger application that is Google Sheets by following these steps written here. Okay. And after that we are going to fetch the response of that connection. Okay. So you can just read the instructions carefully and follow them. Let me show you how exactly you can do that. So guys, uh, when you connect Google Sheets here in the trigger and if you are using multiple Google accounts in the same uh, browser. I suggest you to open the spreadsheet in incognito mode and after that you can connect it. So it will be uh, good for you. It will not create any issue when you open the, the sheet in incognito mode like this. Okay. And guys here you have to click on extensions and from this add ons option click on get add ons. <clears throat> and from this work uh, marketplace guys you have to search for an add on which is called Pabli connect web hooks. Pabli connect web hooks. Okay. So you have to search for it and you have to install it here. So it will just take two minutes to install it. As you can see, I have already installed it. So I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, you need to refresh the spreadsheet as well. Okay. So this is an important step. After installing Pabli connect web hooks, refresh your spreadsheet. And after that, when you click on extensions uh, like this, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks option available in this drop down only. So from here you have to click on this initial setup button. Click on initial setup. Okay. 
And here uh, it will show you these two fields. First is the webhook URL field and other is the trigger column. So in this webhook URL field, you have to copy and paste this webhook URL that you got here. Okay. So you can just click on copy here and go back to your spreadsheet and you can see a uh, webhook URL is already pasted here. Let me remove it and let me paste the new one. Okay. And here you can see it is asking for the trigger column. So the trigger column is that column uh, in which you are going to enter the data finally. And as you're going to enter the data in that column, the workflow is going to be triggered. Okay. So in our case, the trigger column is the D column. So in the D column, I'm entering the data at the last, that is the phone number of the customer. And as I'm going to enter the phone number, the workflow is going to trigger. Okay. So after pasting the URL and the trigger column, you will have to click on this send test button. As you can see here in your workflow, as I have copied this webhook URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. This means now you have to bring some test data from the application that you have connected here in the trigger so that uh, the data will be captured here and we are going to use that data afterwards also in this automation. Okay. <clears throat> so to bring the test data here, you have this send test button. Okay. So click on send test and the data of the first row that you have will be sent to your workflow as the test data. So I have clicked on send test. You can see the data was sent successfully. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data. All right. And in this response received section, we got the data here as this. It is showing the first name as dummy. Last name is name. Email is this. Phone number is this. And you can see the spreadsheet's name is this. And you can check here. This is the same data that you have here in the first row. Dummy name, dummy at the rate pavlitids.com. And this is the data. And we got the same data here. So that's how you can capture the test data. Now, what do you have to do from this initial setup, click on submit and submit uh, the initial setup. And here you have to do one thing more, click on extensions. And from this Fably connect webhox option, click on this send on event option also. So when you check this send on event option, what will happen whenever you are going to add a new row here or update any row here, the workflow is going to be triggered. Okay. The data will be sent. So we are done connecting the trigger application and we got the test data. Now I have created a survey form. You can see using Google forms application. This is a survey form I have created and this is the product survey form uh, for follow-up. Okay. So I want to send this form to this customer whose data we have received here on WhatsApp. So to send the form on WhatsApp, we need to connect WhatsApp here in the section step and to connect with WhatsApp, we need to have the access of WhatsApp's API or application programming interface. So guys, we are going to use WhatsApp's own cloud API platform to get the access of WhatsApp. Okay. So uh, if you want to know, first of all, guys, to use WhatsApp cloud API feature here, you need to connect your number with the cloud API platform of WhatsApp so that you can automatically send messages on WhatsApp through that number. Okay. So if you want to know how to do that, you can watch the video from the description guys. We have thoroughly explained everything there about the WhatsApp cloud API setup. And after uh, following that video, you can use the cloud API setup feature here. So you just have to search for cloud API here. <clears throat> Here it is WhatsApp's cloud API selected. And in the action event, you have to select send template message option, then click on connect. And from here, you have to select add new connection option. If you're making the connection with the cloud API for the very first time. And here you can rename this connection as well. And uh, this connection that you're making by this process is going to be saved in your account. Okay. And here it is asking for the permanent access token of the cloud API, the phone number ID and the business account ID. So uh, if you want to know more about these things, you can just click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of Pavli Connect. And here you will find the complete setup guide of cloud API inside Pavli Connect. Here is a video. And then we have a video on generating the permanent access token of cloud API. 
okay and then we have these instructions along with screenshots written here to connect with the cloud api in the trigger or in the action in public connect okay so you can follow these videos and instructions and guys to uh, know where to find these things i can show you my cloud api setup so guys this is my uh, cloud api setup under meta for developers section here you can see uh, i am under a uh, this application that I've created here and you can see WhatsApp's getting started page and under the getting started page first of all they gave you the temporary access token but these temporary tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent token so that you can continuously run your workflows okay so if you want to know how to generate the permanent token you can watch the video from the description as well as from this forum page here we have the video and you can generate your token and after generating the permanent token you have to keep it safe because we are going to use the same token afterwards also to make the connections okay so after getting the token you have to paste the token here in this field similarly you will find the phone number id here like this you can just copy it <clears throat> and paste it here and you will find the business account ID here like this. You can just copy it and paste it here. Okay. And after filling all the things, you just have to click on save and you will be connected with the WhatsApp's cloud API. And this connection will be saved in your account. So in future, if you want to make the connection again, you can use this existing saved connection. Okay. As I have already made many connections before in different workflows with my cloud API setup. So I can use my existing saved connections for that. You, I just have to click on this, uh, sec, select existing connection option. And here you can see we have the select connections option and here it will show you the list of all the existing connections that you have with the cloud API. So from here, you can select any of your existing connection. Let me select this one as I have renamed as a WhatsApp cloud API final. Okay. Now I just have to click on save and you can see we are getting connected again, right? So we are connected and here it is asking for the template or the message templates name. So guys, uh, before sending the messages through this workflow, you have to create standard predefined message structures for your audience or your client or your customers here inside the cloud API setup and to, through that, uh, template messages you can send messages automatically to multiple people. So guys, here you can see I have created this template product survey form is the name. And this is the preview of this message you can see. <clears throat> so here you can see it is showing hi, we hope you're enjoying your recent purchase of our project product. Would you like to fill up our short survey to help us improve our services? It will take only five minutes. So this is how the message is going to appear on WhatsApp when we are going to use this message template. So guys, uh, if you want to know how to create search templates, you can watch the video from the description. We have a dedicated video on how to, uh, you know, create and uh, create the templates and get the templates approved by Facebook. Okay. So guys, here you can see in this message template, we have this one in double curly braces and two. So guys, these are called the body fields or the variable tags of the message. So uh, this means that if we have these two variable tags or body fields, this means we can change two things in this message every time we are going to send the message. Like here, we can place the name of the customer to whom we are sending the message and here you can place the forms link. So you can, ch uh, you can change the name of the customer every time you are sending the message. Okay. So you have to place these body fields strategically correctly and you can watch the video guys. We have explained everything about the body fields there as well. So let me just select this template from this templates list. <clears throat> so the name of my template is product survey form. Okay. And after selecting the templates name, it will ask for this recipients mobile number or the WhatsApp number of the person to whom you're sending the message. So guys, uh, we have collected the test data here and in this test data we have received the phone number as well so i'm going to map this phone number label here in this field so just click here and and it will show you the previous step in the drop down 
and when you click on it it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step so from here just click on the mobile number field and it will be mapped here like this okay and now it is asking for the body fields one and two so guys here you can see in my template i have two body fields and to get these two things changed dynamically with every new message you need to map the values of these body fields here <coughs> in your workflow so guys in the first body field i want to place the name of my customer so i am going to map the name from the first step dummy is the name let me map the full name okay like this in the second body field guys i want to place the link of the form okay shareable link of the form so here is my form right here we have send option click on send and when you click here in between these two icons here you can see we have this link of the form and if you click on this shorten link it will show you the short link of the form just you can just copy this link and you can place this link here in this body field manually as well so the form is going to remain the same because we have manually pasted the link so the form is going to be the same with every new message but the uh, name of the customers are going to change with every new message because we have mapped the labels here so the thing that you are mapping here are going to up be updated with every new trigger or with every new uh, data that you are entering in the spreadsheet okay so that's why it is necessary to map the details here right so guys you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered to this person so guys what i'm going to do now i am going to uh, place my whatsapp number here in this recipient mobile number field manually just to show you the demo you have to map the number from the trigger only but just to show you the demo of the message how the message is going to appear i am going to place my number here after that i am going to click on save and send test request and i'll show you the message so guys i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the message you can see a new message we have received here on whatsapp and the message is this you can see hi dummy name we hope you're enjoying your recent purchase of the product would you like to fill up the short survey form and here you can see we have this forms link and when the person is going to click here the form is going to open up like this okay so you can see in place of the body fields the correct values are placed automatically because we have mapped the data here as this okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't even have to touch this workflow after that as and when you are going to add the data of your customers here the workflow is going to run in background and the messages will be delivered to your customers automatically along with the form link so guys if you want to use the same workflow that i have created you can use that also because i'm going to paste it in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.